Right, guys, and we're back. I was just playing with the charts, making sure everything works fine. There's the economic calendar for today. Let's have a quick look and see what will happen in six minutes from now, because it's very, very important. So in six minutes from now, you're going to have a series of announcements. Like I uh, mentioned a few minutes ago, you're going to have the average hourly earnings, which usually measure how much people are getting paid. Uh, you're going to have exports, imports, non-farm payrolls, participation rate for the non-farm payrolls, the private non-farm payrolls, the trade balance, and the unemployment rate. This is what's going to be announced on the US dollar, and it all comes out in the same time. Now, I hope you understand why the markets are creating this whipsaw movement, because you have a, a bunch of announcements coming. And even more than that, yeah, to top it up, you're going to have the trade balance uh, coming out from uh, Canada on the Canadian dollar, which is expected to come out negative $1.4 billion. Now, let's see what consensus is expecting from... Um, from the NFP uh, numbers today, 182,000 jobs consensus predicted to, to be added. Last month, we saw uh, a depressing 49,000 jobs. But let's not forget the data measures, the jobs that have been offered to the people in the previous month, guys. So what did we have in the previous month going on in the States? We had Texas freezing. Okay, Texas is still recovering. We had um, a lot of oil rigs. We had a very heavy winter in the States that affected many many uh states okay many cities so i don't know what was the condition of the covid uh, pandemic in the previous month in the states it was at its peak okay if i'm not mistaken so it's hard to believe you're gonna get a ton of um of jobs offered to the population Right. Shortly after that, we're going to have a press conference uh, on the pound. We're going to see a bit of volatility on the pound. And then we're going to have at 2100 hours, guys, the U.S. federal budget, which is very, very important. OK, and then we're going to end the week with the, the same uh, speculative net positions okay, from uh, CFTC, which are announced more or less every Friday. OK, so average hourly earnings are expected to uh, to increase uh, this month. No are expected to be unchanged from the previous month, 0.2%. Uh, year over year, we're looking at a, at a decrease uh, from, uh, from consensus. 5.3% is predicted by consensus for the uh, average hourly earnings. We have an expectation of 182,000 jobs offered to the population in the past month for uh, non-farm payrolls. For the private non-farm payrolls, we're looking at 210,000 jobs uh, versus just 6,000 that came out last month. Okay, trade balance still expected to come out negative, a bit higher than the previous, uh, negative $67.5 billion. Unemployment rate, again, is expected to remain unchanged at 6.3%. And we're exactly three minutes away from the um, from the announcement. Guys, quick, quick look. Let's have a quick look at the charts, first of all, and see what... Uh, What's happening? What's the condition of the market here? We see the euro uh, tumbling uh, the entire European trading session and overnight as well. Okay, 119.39 for the euro this afternoon with the RSI and the stochastic way, way into the oversold levels. So there is potential for a correction on the euro if uh, the US dollar will tank today. There's also a possibility for the euro continuing the downtrend. But let's see, usually after such a big uh, big downtrend, such a big drop uh, on the last uh, couple of trading sessions, we should see a bit, uh, a bit of a correction, yeah, a bit more than what we saw yeah, so far. The pound, again, the pound tumbled in the last couple of trading sessions. Uh, it started the correction this morning, but the investors are very, very cautious ahead of the non-farm payroll data. Right, okay. Now, moving on, we're looking at the USD JPY, which pulled back a few hours ago and now is getting ready for uh, for another rally by the looks of it. 108.33 this afternoon for uh, USD JPY. Again, RSI stochastic somewhere in the lower section okay, of the chart. Let's see what's going to happen. The Aussie dollar is tumbling along with the euro and the pound for the last few trading sessions. Again, it, it would look right for a correction. And the USD CAD um, had a decent rally yesterday and uh, overnight. It started tumbling today. Right. This is the condition of the markets, guys. Let's see what's going to happen. We are one minute ahead of the announcement. Let's see how the markets will react. And more importantly, let's, let's see how the non-farm payroll numbers will come out this month. Will it uh, match consensus expectations? Will it come out uh, very depressing once again like it did last month? Only time will tell. Probably the the worst, uh, the longest thirty seconds 
so far i'm just going to move to a five minute chart so you can see the volatility happening right usd cad is pushing lower we're looking at euro usd still undecided probably the announcement did not come out yet the pound is getting ready to rally uh upwards right let's have a quick look no still still guys this is the longest minute we need to count to 60 uh twice on uh, on the first friday of every month still nothing has happened yet come on show us what's going on the volatility is there more or less we can see um that uh, last red candlestick started moving already euro usd still nothing pound is very undecided usd jpy is undecided but it's, it's getting ready to shoot up for some reason let's see what's going to happen is the announcement out that is the question no still the longest minute right i told you we have to to count to uh to 60 twice today come on show us what is happening with the non-farm payroll right usd jpy pushing up gbp usd pushing down euro usd froze for uh, for some reason 1937 come on economic calendar let us know what's happening with the non-farm payrolls and there we go we have the data coming out positive 379,000 jobs guys 379,000 jobs look at the reaction euro had euro is shooting down the pound is shooting down look at usd jpy guys which was getting ready to shoot up now you can see it shooting up aud usd is tumbling for sure usd cad is shooting up as well right look at gold guys look at the spike on gold look at that big big gap 1689.65 for gold this afternoon unbelievable what's happening with uh with the gold price right let's have a quick quick look at the economic calendar have a look at the data that came out 0 0.2 percent uh, for the average hourly earnings uh 5.3 percent as expected for the average uh, hourly earnings uh year over year and we're looking at a non-farm payroll of 379,000 jobs versus an expectation of 182 from consensus we're looking at the participation rate of 61.4 percent just like uh, last time we're looking at private non-farm payrolls coming out almost half a million guys 465,000 jobs versus uh 210 predicted by consensus and versus the 90,000 that came out last month the trade balance big big deficit negative 68.2 billion versus an expectation of uh negative 67.5 we see an unemployment rate better than expected 6.2 percent versus an expectation of 6.3 percent and the trade balance on the canadian dollar came out 141 billion versus an expectation of a negative 140 that was expected right quick look at the charts once again okay this is how the markets react guys and this is on a five minute chart if you look at it on a um, on a one minute chart the movement will be even more aggressive Okay, so 11901 for uh, for the euro this afternoon, guys. 13792 for the pound. 10855 for uh USD JPY and 07629 for the Aussie dollar. Right, there is there is a spike. There is a spike on the markets. Look at USD CAD. USD CAD is still pushing up. Right now we're going to have another look at the charts um in 20 minutes or so once the market uh calmed down 